Hi, I'm Dr. Janine Bowering, naturopathic doctor, and today I'll be discussing EMFs in nature and how we as humans and animals and trees are all electrically charged, which you may not have realized. So thanks for tuning in. Be sure to like this video, give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and make sure you turn on your notifications by clicking that bell so you always get our future uploads when we are uploading new content. Be also sure to share this video with your friends, with someone who may benefit with this natural health information. So what are EMFs, electromagnetic fields? Also EMRs, electromagnetic radiation, which certainly is top of mind for a lot of people. And you may not realize that we're all electrically charged. So I'm gonna go over to my demonstration board and I'm gonna to try to draw this out for you. I'm not an artist, so that's my warning. But in nature, everything is electrically charged. So when we think of the sun, the sun gives gives off radiation and usually this is positively charged. When we think of a tree, a tree has a dual electrical charge. So closer to the ground, it's actually more negatively charged and close to the top of the tree, it's more positively charged. Now humans as well are more positively charged in the head and more negatively charged in our feet and in our hands. Also, when we take a look at clouds and when there's a rainstorm, what rains down is positive in the rain, in the exception of electrical storms, which I'm going to get to in just a second. So it, I've read that in nature, Mother Nature, with all of her wisdom, in nature, the tree's roots actually attract the rain. Why is that? We know that opposites attract, so that negative charge is actually attracting that positive rain. So that's the cycle of life. Now, when we do have an electrical storm, what happens is that there's a differentiation in the charges in the clouds. So what happens is that we start to actually have negative at the base of the cloud and positive at the top, and what comes down to discharge that charge in lightning is actually a negative charge. And that's why we're always cautioned in an electrical storm, don't stand near or under a tree because you being more positive certainly can attract that negative charge from the lightning, as does a tree that's more positively charged at its top can now attract that negative charge. So it's all about that balance in our bodies and that we are in fact electrically charged. What's interesting is that our hands and our feet are more electrically negative. And that's why my belief is that when healing occurs, when somebody does a hands-on healing, usually a diseased body is more in the positive state in terms of the electromagnetism. So that negativity in the hands actually helps to find that balance in that electrical system. And that's how the negative helps with balancing the disease. So what's interesting to note is that our cells are electrically charged and they are sensitive to that electromagnetism. So, so as we saw in the diagram, with the sun being positively charged, that's probably about the only type of electromagnetism that we're, our bodies were made for. So we know that the sun's healing ability for our bodies definitely is a healthy thing. You can check out a previous video that we had all about the secrets of getting natural sun exposure. But certainly, you know, Know, the inundation of our bodies with all this electromagnetism due to our technological advances, our cell phones and everything that we are in contact with, with our laptops, our tablets, and all that other extra electromagnetism that comes our way with that radiation certainly has a negative impact on our cells. And there's something called VGCC, so voltage gated calcium channels. And what happens with that artificial EMF radiation is that it opens up those channels and we get a bunch of calcium coming into our cells and to make a long story short what happens is that this is concentrated so the VGCCs are actually concentrated in certain tissues so the ones that are mostly affected would be the muscles as well as the heart so cardiac function and cardiac disease the male genitalia are very highly concentrated with VGCCs so fertility issues definitely are related 
connected to those EMFs. The nerves as well, the nervous system and our brain is loaded with these VGCCs. So that extra influx of calcium can be very destructive to our cells, especially our DNA. And that's why it links with cancer and EMF exposure, but also in terms of our ability for our neurons to fire. And there's something called excitotoxicity in which the nerves are overly inundated with the EMFs. And think, I mean, EMFs close to the head, if you use a cell phone close to your head, not a good recommendation. Why is that? Those calcium ions will flood into the cells, destroy the mitochondria, have DNA damage, and there's definitely correlations with a certain type of cancer called a glioma with that EMF exposure. So do whatever you can. You're going to see in our full one hour long video on the Dr. Janine Show. Make sure you check out that video. The link is in the description below because I give you a lot of really practical thing, ways to decrease your EMF exposure on a daily basis and do your best to mitigate that risk in terms of EMFs and the radiation. Thanks for joining me again. Make sure you share this video, give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel so you always get our newest and latest uploads. Thank you